Oh, maybe tomorrow. I'll think about that when I get home. <laughs> um, make an appointment for brainwash either. Because, like, I'm going in anyways. So we have a bit of a weird schedule coming up next week. Um, we'll talk about this one more on Thursday, and I'll probably bring it up later in this video. I just wanted to get stuff. Aaron uh, had his meeting, and then he had to do a screen recordy thing for training purposes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice and short, though. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it's nice and short. It's like... <laughs> I understand because I did the football 101 videos. They were nice and short. I explained what it is and they're defended to, determined to be short videos. But yeah, you're like, when you get up to a certain level you have, in working or something, you have to start teaching people beneath you or yeah. laterally. <laughs> so. It's something that my parent company actually like supports me in doing and wants me to do more, but I never have free time. Fair. Yeah. But like I said, that's <laughs> people are like, uh, like you, you, you just want to go to work and collect a paycheck. You're going to be doing not much in life. <laughs> Even when you get to like a team leader in like Taco Bell or you get to an assistant manager, you're going to have to be training things that you already know how to do or the people that just came on yeah. or something. So <sighs> teaching is growth. <laughs> because you are expanding the knowledge of someone else. So, the fields are looking pretty good. Um, again, I was gonna show you guys probably Friday what that's gonna look like. I want them to get a little bit more done this week. We had a fender bender outside and they're still exchanging information. <laughs> the kids are off at lunch and stuff, as you can see them all walking around. Being menaces, ugh, youths. Okay, so we've got carbonara's, bolognese sauce. Stuff is now coming in a plastic pack, like rather than a hard pack. So it's like, eh. It's just plastic recycled. Why am I even wearing? I'm not gonna recycle the meat. So, and that's probably why, because nobody's actually recycling the hard plastic that it used to come in. So just take that out and put it in a little sakya. Ooh, suck you. Flesh suck you. Ooh, that's like your scrotum, isn't it? Meat sack? Ooh. Fleshy bags of mostly water. Sorry, lava. Lava. We are lava monsters. Wrapped in skin. I'm not saying that, you sh that it's necessarily a bad thing, but this is basically your hand soap. This is like dial draft. It's cool, it's two for three. But the same exact stuff that's our time brand is 60 cents. Even two for three, it's a buck fifty. This is still a third the price for soap. You gotta be really into branding. Sorry, brand loyalty. I guess. I, I just can't. So what I thought was recorded in the story, in the store, actually I don't think was. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a weird schedule coming up, but a calendar week. The rest of this calendar week is fine. You know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, practice Thursday, Friday. But Friday, I think I'm gonna be doing legs. No, Theo, don't. You won't, you'll probably have to, you know, the muscle soreness on Sunday. No, because there's no practice. But the thing is, I knew this wasn't gonna be like, a practice because me and Jan are the only ones on the team that can't try out for the Dutch Lions <laughs> and everyone else is like Aah! okay maybe Diego I don't know but most everyone signed up for the Dutch Lions and they have a weekend tryout <laughs> and it's passport only so <laughs> that's gonna be fun it's frustrating one of those of like I support y'all but, <laughs> but anyways so we're making up that practice Tuesday and then Thursday we're having another practice and then Saturday <laughs> two sessions and then a scrimmage on Sunday and then we're back to normal <laughs> except for the scrimmage on Sunday but yeah <laughs> so we're having four trainings 
next week when we normally have two. All right, there's an unusually amount, there's an unusually high amount of old people in here. Um, I don't know. Good for them and their health, but <laughs> they tend to sit around and chit chat on machines and like turn up their hearing aids so they could hear each other yell across from the gym. They're being a little quiet right now, but I mean, some of them, I don't know, that guy looks like he's maybe doing a bit of physio or something, but who knows. Gabriel's here doing squats. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure that the bar is lined up first before I do some chest. Um, I found the upper limit of my arm. <laughs> I was doing some stretches on the uh, foam roller. I rolled my butt and stuff because that's always nice to do. And I don't do it at home enough. I'm trying to figure out if this is the good spot. This is not the spot that the chest thing needs to be on. This is... I mean, maybe? Willie said it should really be like on your titties, on your nips. So I need to be like... I don't know the actual good spot for this. Because I feel like it should be right here, nipple. Not here. Man, I mean, that's just a weird thing of me trying to get nitpicky about things. Okay, I got up to a plate and a half. Um, and they, uh, yeah, I felt it kind of... Sliding, I guess, would be a term. Grandma's in the machine over there, but hopefully she'll be done by the time I get done in like an hour. Oh, my legs were off. press for a little bit. So I know this isn't the perfect thing to be doing, but I've been rubbing my shoulder on this. The out, the exterior delt, lateral delt. And it feels stringier than I think it should feel, but then again, what do I know? I don't actually take any biology. I'm just doing this in between my sets. I probably look like a fucking doofus. I mean, I haven't been doing it on this side, but... The more I do it, the more, I don't know, these seem easier to do. Probably put about foot now. Don't do too much, I gotta go do back. All right, did my things on that. So I'm thinking, this says a lot right there. And that, allow, that has this motion going on. But I've been watching someone on TikTok. Um, I'll put his name down if you're into TikTok and you wanna watch how to do proper exercises, because he, doesn't matter. Anyways, um, you can also follow him on Instagram, but I don't know that Instagram. I don't really follow a lot of people in there. I do a lot of football teams. Anyways, so I'm thinking is I choose a much more narrow grip, like where it says triceps, and I use kind of a pull-down section with that, bring the lat in closer rather than an overhand grip, I guess. We'll try that, see what that works like. Oh. I'll tell you, when I started jumping up the kilos after, because I, the other way, the outstretched arm, I was doing like 60 kilos on a pull-up. Like, this is bullshit. <laughs> then I did the narrow thing, rather than now like this, I pulled it in like this, and I was up at like 75 kilos, like almost instantaneously. I gained 15 kilos on my pull-down, or a pull-up, or whatever, just by switching my grip, because I was actually using my lats rather than the weird shoulder rotators that do this motion, I was doing the lats. All right, now that I sat down for like 30 minutes at the end of the gym, drank a bit of coffee and talked rugby with uh, Terrence, 
we were discussing the goalposts. Uh, I called him uprights at first, and then asked him what he calls them, and he, like, try to try to ask a golden retriever what their third brain cell is named, and that's the look I got. <laughs> he just like, he didn't look through me. He didn't look outside, look past the gym. He literally looked through the multiverse. I went, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The, the balan, which is like poles of sorts. This is the, the tripole. Tri line, the poles on the tri line. I don't, I don't know what we call them. like a fucking broken brain. But we talked about, you know, malls. He says mole, and I get it. Um, some Dutch and Germans have a different way of pronouncing a u. I ca I thought he was saying like m o l e, but he was saying m a u l. Which once I Googled it, I figured out that it was not a mole that burrows underneath the ground. It was a mall, which is basically getting six guys in a triangle formation to get the ball onto the tri line. I was like, oh yeah, you mean the one yard touchdown? <laughs> and I showed him a picture. I showed him a picture of it, and he's like, oh yeah, yeah. And then I explained to him before I left, because he had a, a lady came in to do a check out the gym sort of appointment thing. So I explained to him the Seahawks fucking up that Super Bowl <laughs> because they were, well, they, I think they were on the two. They were on the one or the two and we all know that one. And it's like, literally, you got big guys that six points, you'll do it. You don't even have to make the PAT and you'll win the Super Bowl. The second year in a row. <laughs> And they said, no, we're going to pass. And that's when Butler picked it off. And there was literally nothing to do after that because it was a turnover and there was not enough time. <laughs> like, it just, it, but yeah, so I explained to him and he explained that there's strict rules about the mall and how it must work. And he showed me some stuff from uh, rugby, a rugby championship that happened yesterday, actually, in South Africa, Australia or something. Um, but a mall is not something that happens very often, but it can also move. <laughs> but they must maintain a triangle formation. So like four guys, three guys, two guys, and then one in the back who has the ball. Oh, I was thinking it was like, Three guys at the corners facing out, and then three guys on the sides facing out. No. No, it's a, it's like a triangle. Like a pier, yeah. four, three, two, and then the guy in the back who's crouched down holding the ball. But you have to maintain the equilateral triangle. You can't let the triangle bend in any way. And if you, <laughs> if you have to move over to the left, you can't... Like, you can't shuffle sideways. You have to turn the whole body, then move it down the line. <laughs> I was like, this is interesting. Like, but that's the thing is, like, Terrence, you know, probably has that little bit of not really bothered him in his life autistic spectrum. You get him on his topic, and he will talk your head off. He's a little dense. And he's really socially awkward. But you get him on his topic, and he will talk your head off. <laughs> you get me just a little drunk and you start asking questions about Star Trek, you're going to find out shit you don't know about that franchise. <laughs> Putting my magnesium away and then I'm going to get the phone out and uh, pipe on the uh, Panthers game from the weekend. I don't know the score. Um, but yeah, and then I'm going to cook it. And I'm just going to watch that for... 544, really? I could watch that all the way till halftime, maybe, and then start tacos. Whatever. But yeah. Well, I'll chat with you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure. Depending on weather, I may just be a long bike ride somewhere. Get cardio in and stuff. So yeah, the scrimmage on that's on that Sunday is at two o'clock. So Okay. Uh, it's not as early in the morning, but you, if you wanted to come on out, whether it's at crew field, so. <laughs> Easy enough to get to. 
do it after a fashion <laughs> with the bus and all that jazz, but yeah. Um, I have a whole week to figure that one out. Uh, but again, it's a scrimmage. I'm not necessarily sure how much can be filmed. Mm. <laughs> not necessarily much, but I'm like, I don't know if this is going to be game style. Like, is this a scrimmage with refs? I don't think so. Um, so is this going to be like, hey, let's do like what we did at camp, doing X number of plays on offense, X number of plays on defense, yada, yada. I don't... Yeah. Hopefully it's just like what we've done with the West Virginia Outlaws, but, you know, trying to pick up time a little bit, but not actually, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna, before I pipe that on, I'm gonna give the phone a bit of a charge on a charger while I do some No Man's Sky up on the game and then continue watching it while I'm cooking tacos. And then we can finish up Lucifer forever. Hmm. Yeah. It'll be three episodes tonight. Yeah. We can even go to bed a little bit later than usual, but the episodes are Netflix, varying length. <laughs> oh, right, there's a new chicken thing I need to figure out if there's good rewards for or not. I mean, for me, it's uh, maybe bank size, two soul eggs, and 160 golden egg crates. Two soul eggs? You mean the, the special? Oh! Those are multiplier boosts. Mm, okay. Right? Maybe. I don't know. Catch you guys tomorrow.